Hi, I'm Lauren, and I was brought to Apraxia Kids about, hmm, about two years ago. So, my daughter, I have a four-year-old, her name is Marley, and she has childhood apraxia of speech. When we first found out and we were introduced to this diagnosis, I was didn't really know what to do. I got on Google, and the first thing I found was Apraxia Kids. I immediately dug into Apraxia Kids and on their website they had SLPs around our state that could help us, guide us. They had resources on there in regards to handing out resources to an SLP, to their teachers, to their classrooms, to other parents. I mean they had everything I could think of on this website. It was almost as if I opened up my laptop and it went oh! So it was amazing. We decided that we were going to go ahead and dig in to this. We attended the 2023 National Conference in Texas last summer, as well as we did, we participated in the Atlanta walk in the fall of last year as well, which both of them were amazing. So I suggest if you're new to this journey, plug yourself in. If you can't make it to the conference, Definitely, 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 whatever walk is around your area, go ahead, sign up, register, because just being around a community of other parents and other children and professionals who understand what you're going through as a parent and who understand what your child is going through is the best support system you can have. So plug yourself in. My biggest piece of advice to anybody new to this journey, plug yourself in, go deep, you can do it, we're all here for you. Apraxia Kids has completely helped our family. We live in a rural area in Georgia. Whoop, whoop. So our resources are few and far between. At one point I was driving about an hour and a half one way for therapy, for speech therapy. And that's just one way. Finally, we've got some a little bit down here, but the way that happened was that I literally reached out to an SLP and asked the questions that I knew to ask from looking at the Apraxia Kids website, asking about the different techniques, things like that. How would therapy look? These are all questions that I gathered from the Apraxia Kids website. So it helped me to be able to almost ask these SLPs these questions. And then we found one who was very interested. She had a little bit of knowledge on it. She had seen it before, she had treated it before, and she actually plugged right into me with the Apraxia Kids as well. So that was a big game changer, but Apraxia Kids almost kind of gave me that strength that I needed to be able to ask those tough questions. They also have all the resources that you can think of, including a new IEP roadmap, which is huge because IEPs can be very confusing. And we're getting into the IEP process now with our daughter, and the IEP roadmap is a great tool that is helpful in knowing what to ask for, what to look for, how to guide this, how to navigate through all of it. So they just have all the resources there that you would need. Like I said, my four-year-old daughter is completely thriving. She has a twin sister. Apraxia Kids has not only helped me with navigating the IEPs and the therapies and things like that, but it's also helped me navigate um, through meeting personal connections at the conference and at the walks, it's also helped me navigate how do I approach this as a mom to twin girls who are the same age but on two very different, you know, level playing fields right here. How do I explain to my one child that, you know, her sister has to go to therapy four days a week and this is why and, you know, where we're not feeling left out. Apraxia Kids has helped me with that. So it's amazing just everything you can think of. But the best thing ever is when you're seeing progress. And I think a lot of that is because I am I am able to have the resources as a parent thanks to Apraxia Kids. So Apraxia Kids has completely helped in every possible way. And we're looking forward to having a family trip with both of my children, my husband, my mom. Um, we are all going up to Pittsburgh. 
this summer for the 2024 National Conference in Pittsburgh, and we're so excited. And we are also already registered for the 2024 Atlanta Apraxia Walk, and we're so excited because the happiest that I am is when we are surrounded by our Apraxia Kids family because there's nothing, there's no better feeling than when you're talking to somebody else and they know what you're going through and they are giving you tidbits of advice. Um, and just as me, sometimes I, now I'm finding myself where I'm talking to other parents and they're new to the journey. And I, I always tell them, you're new to the journey, plug into Apraxia Kids. They've got everything there. So happy Apraxia Awareness Month and happy Apraxia Awareness Day.